devastating to life as we know it. All of this and world leaders are still slow to take action. Policymakers are compromising for incremental adjustments which fall far short of what is necessary and we have a president who denies that any of this is existing. When it comes to the climate crisis, it is hard to stay optimistic. Hard to stay resolved and continue to fight what seems to be an unwinnable battle. And yet we must. That is what FTR called for then, and that is what we are called to do now. Not just for ourselves, but for our children. For future generations. For those who are immediately vulnerable to the effects of our changing world. And we do have reason to be optimistic. For today we find that we have a clear way forward. One which embodies FTR's legacy both in name and in ethos. What I'm talking about, of course, is the Green New Deal. It is a framework for climate action which calls for a mass mobilization, for mass mobilization of resources to transform our economy and it does so by centering the disadvantaged and those who are disproportionately affected by climate change. <laughs> the Green New Deal is also directly connected to the optimism set out in Roosevelt's 1941 speech, for it harkens back to the freedom from want. It exudes the hope that in addressing the most pressing challenges of our time, we will not only preserve those things which we hold most dear, but we will make our world more just and more equitable. And therein lies the key to solving the climate crisis. Therein lies the key to preserving our world. By pushing for intersectional climate action, which enhance, enhances economic justice, racial justice, gender and LGBTQ plus justice, immigrant justice, and tribal justice, we will build coalitions that unite around a vision of a future where we all have access to the freedom from want. That is what we are called to do. That is what the youth are calling on us to do. That is why on September 20th, 75 students from Berkshire County skipped class and went to Boston to protest. Yeah. That is why hundreds of other students from Taconic, PHS, and, and schools across the county walked out that day. That is, why, that is why the young people will continue to walk out. They are calling on our leaders to take the bold, intersectional action that is required, and they are calling on us to stand with them in demanding this. Yes. And, if, and if our leaders do not hear our calls, we must also stand with the youth in demanding new leadership and new leaders. and their allies who are bringing us back to the message that FDR gave in his speech almost 80 years ago. They recognize that their freedom from want, their ability to enjoy a healthy peacetime life, as Roosevelt, Roosevelt put it, is in jeopardy if we do not act now. Let today be a reminder of what is at stake as well as what we can look forward to if we join the youth in combating our existential challenges with hope and determination. Yeah. Thank you.